Something like a Halley's Comet sighting is pretty rare, as it comes around Earth just once every 75 years. But a walk-off catcher's interference is in a league of its own. In fact, until June 20th, 2007, no instance of a professional game ending in that fashion had ever been documented since organized baseball began play in 1883. Probably the most bizarre thing I haven't seen on a baseball field was a game ending on catcher's interference. Strange night, the game the night before had been suspended. It was picked up that night and went 11 innings. So it had already been a long night of baseball. The second game was shortened to seven innings. And when Jason Hill lines out to end the seventh with the bases loaded, we're thinking, all right, we're going to extra innings. The game's tied. I had to take a bathroom break because it had been a long night. We're starting to think of the old curfew rule maybe coming into play uh, with that game. And, and I remember with bases loaded coming up and you know, crazy part, but in the back of my mind, I thought this could actually happen because Jason Hill, who was at the plate, had a really long swing. He's a really tall guy, a really long bat, incredibly long swing. He had reached base three or four times prior that year on catcher's interference. I've never seen so many, so many guys get on base so many times doing it. I was on third and uh, the play happened pretty quick. It was a long game. I do remember that. And we were kind of ready to get out of there. We were ready to, to for the game to end. And um, uh, Jason swung, and uh, right away you could see that the bat, you know, hit something or he didn't get it good. A split second before it made contact with the ball, Hill's bat nipped the mitt of Binghamton catcher Mike Nickius, which awarded first base to Hill and forced Michael Spadale home from third with the winning run at 11 minutes past midnight. I come out of the bathroom in the press box and there's nobody on the field. What happened? The game's over. I said, we mean the game's over. The shortstop caught the ball. Catcher's interference. And obviously with the bases loaded, everybody gets a base. Michael Spadali is awarded home for the winning run. The umpire called it right away. I remember uh, coming home, raising the fist in the air a little bit. In the press box, it was one of those, nobody really knew what happened. It was a strange call from the umpire. It's not ball four. It's not a base hit. It's not a pass ball wild pitch. Nature called. It would have been you know, a lot of innings of baseball. and. I come out and everything's done. I had to quickly go back and tell everybody game's over. We're going to wrap up post game shows coming up next and Reading win the game and catcher's interference of all things. I come score, you know, the guys kind of come give me some, some half love and give uh, Jason some half love there. Um, but, but it didn't really, you didn't really realize and analyze what happened until the dust settled and you came into the clubhouse and got a chance to really think about it. It was just one of the strangest situations going. And I remember after the game thinking, we, we kind of got something here. What they had was an event unlike any other in Reading Phillies, minor league, or even professional baseball history. I got on the phone with Elias uh, Lee Tobin at the time in the Phillies PR department, Larry Schenk in the Phillies PR department, called the Hall of Fame, the, the library in Cooperstown at the Baseball Hall of Fame. Um, uh, Major League Baseball advanced, you know, advanced media got involved and all those folks started calling some people they know. I think I must, uh, I must have talked to three or four Longtime major league official scores that day. Guys are going through box scores left and right all over the country in a 24 hour span trying to find some indication that this has ever happened before. And, and we couldn't. And Elias said, you know what? We're going to say this is the first time this has ever happened in, in baseball history. Jason Hill's bat, Mike Nickius's glove, and the scorecard were sent to Cooperstown for the archives. There was a mention on an, an ESPN that either that night or the, the, day, uh, the next day saying that that was the first time a ball game ended in, in pro baseball on a catcher's interference call. So, hey, to, to score that run, something be, be, to something be proud of, pretty cool. Nobody had ever seen anything like it because it had never happened before. According to Elias Sports Bureau, that was the first time a professional game had ever ended on catcher's interference. I just didn't witness the umpire making the call. When you think about baseball being around for over 100 years and the possibility of something happening for the first time, you know, it's really kind of amazing. A walk-off win like no other. One of Reading's many golden moments.